there's a sea change happening in national hunt racing in Ireland. The ITPA Fitty Bonus Scheme, coupled with the Mayor's programme in Ireland, has definitely influenced us to have more fitties in training. Now is a particularly good time to have Mayor's uh, racing because the, of this bonus scheme. Um, there's a lot, lot of opportunities, a lot of mares races, and there's 5,000 for, for every mares fillies race that you win. I think it's a fantastic scheme. There's over 70 races for mares, and I think it's a great initiative for owners to buy a mare and to put it in training. We've had a filly that we bred at home. She won a bumper in Wexford. She's now getting ready to go to stud next week and with the money that we won, we won through the, the bonus scheme, she now can pay for a covering fee next week with one of the top national hunt stallions. Two years ago, we had no fillies. Now we've four or five of them. I have about 12 mares pine to pine here, I think. Um, and with this bonus, then, if they're, if they're showing off in the pine to pines, we, we carry on then to go on the track, and the 5,000 bonus really helps for the owners. And, uh, it, 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 the pine pines are a good stepping stone to bring them along, and you can, if you're if you're not registered before that, you you still qualify to be registered once you're not after running on the track. It's five thousand extra for your bumper maiden hurdle beginners chase, which is basically you're winning two races in one. Well, now that the. Uh bonus scheme is there, five grand for each race, and there must be 70 plus races, uh, you know, it's, it's a no-brainer, you have to have your mares in training. The way the scheme is set up, you'd be mad not throwing your filly these days. With the breeders and the owners, don't spend too much of the five grand on parting, just don't forget us trainers, as regards that few quid, put those fillies with us. Don't drink too much champagne with us or go out and wine and dine because you just might lose the wife as well at the end of it. Probably shouldn't have said that. To enter your unraced mare for the bonus scheme, contact the ITBA. Enter by September 30th to qualify for the 2016 bonuses. Point to point mares also qualify to enter. We're in thoroughbred horses now with 20 years. We're in breeding with about 12. Uh, we've had some good days and some bad days. It's a tough game. It's a kind of a game if you're not able for the hardship, don't go at it. But we have been lucky, very, very fortunate. But Carrick Warner Rock has won this in a canter for Philip Enright and Robert Tyner. Keppel's Queen. Most of the horses here are called Carrick Morner because this is the town's land. Carrick Morner is actually a town's land that I'm most fortunate to own. And uh, the rock is a feature in the farm. It's an old Stone Age fort in actual fact. So that's how that name came about. I'm delighted that we put Carrick Morner Rock racing. I would have deeply regretted it if we didn't have Carrick Morner Rock. It wasn't a big issue to run her because Tom always fancied her. That's the other half. He fancied her in a big way. So we decided we would run her. I always feel that the mares are never good, really good enough. You need to improve them the whole time for breeding purposes. And there's nothing like getting the top line right. Thankfully, she has done that. She has won her greatest race and she only lists the race, and, as well as the bonus schemes. How lucky we have been. I mean, I'm floating on air since, to be quite honest with you. I didn't in my wildest dreams ever think that we would be as successful as we are. Carrick Morner Rock, another winner for Robert Tyner and Philip Henry. I read about the scheme in the Irish field and we were fairly well informed of what was going on in it. And, uh, Robert Tyner was interested in me entering the, the mayor in, in, in the first one, a bumper, which we won, fortunately. The scheme has been very, very beneficial to us. And it actually, I think it will help to sell fillies in the future as well. So we are extremely pleased with the whole thing. Eric Morner Rock on the near side as they run towards the finish with Misty Pet battling back on the far side. Head bobber, Carrick Morner Rock. Anything to do with horses is not cheap. Well, you need only look around the farm here. There's plenty of places where you can spend money. So I think that 5,000 is going to put up some new fencing on the entrance into the farm. In actual fact, I'm starting it next week. I mean, it would do your eyes good in the morning to walk out in the field and see them out there. I mean, they're beautiful. And I mean, I love horses anyhow, but I love good horses more. And I'm fortunate to have her out in the field and I see her every day. Inside the final furlong, Calabrandi leads from 10 times better. Listen, dear, staying on again to Groney, but with less than 100 yards to race. Calabrandi and Sonny Carey driven out, going away to win. 
from 10 times better. And running up towards the line, Mary Gale Bridge and Ambrose McCurtain is going to provide back-to-back -back victories in the race for John Joe Walsh as Mary Gale Bridge beats Joint Reaction Midnight Theatre third and Pop's Choice. And racing up now towards the finish, it's Denali out in front. Denali is going to win well. Jody's miss is going to be pressed by Gabriella Mee, but Denali has won it by eight lengths.